Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you always can already see by the title, we're doing another thick thigh workout as has been requested by so many of you. I'm absolutely loving seeing how much you guys have been getting into these workouts. I'm like so like grateful that you would let me do this journey with you and work out with you. I'm so, so proud of you for sticking with these workouts, pushing through when it gets hard. And today we're gonna continue that journey of building strong toned legs. It's amazing to know that you're getting all the health benefits of exercising regularly, as well as adding a little bit of, little bit of fleek to your physique. You do not need any equipment for this workout. You just need 10 minutes, a little bit of space, and to listen out for my voice, guiding you through the workouts. I will be doing it along with you, so I'm right here feeling the burn with you, okay? If you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and click subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to share this channel with a friend. Let's grow our little workout community here. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? Let's go. Okay then, <laughs> let's get started. I'm just gonna set the timer there and this is the first move that we're starting with. Some three point squats, ready and go. Now, you wanna be on one leg, sitting back, not forward, weight through your heels and we're gonna use the other leg to touch the heel to the front, the side and the back, making a nice little half cross shape, I guess. Don't underestimate this as you are finding out probably right now it needs a lot of control and um, you'll feel that nice burn in the quad of the leg that's planted make sure you keep your chest as high as you can weight through the heels slow controlled movements well done a few more and relax we're gonna have 20 seconds rest between each exercise that might feel like a lot um, right now but it won't be shortly you just just trust me on that <laughs> um, but yeah take time to sort your hair bobble out check yourself out in the mirror and we're going in with the next one so let's go so we're gonna switch on to the other leg doing the same exercise I'm showing you from the side this time um, so again weight through your heels notice that I'm sitting back the um, the knee of the leg that's planted in the floor is not in front of my toes so you don't want your knees to go further than your toes of your you know your foot obviously and um, you want to make sure that you're sitting back so it's like a single leg squat and we're just really using control balance to do those taps stepping out to the front to the side and to the back it's really good well done and relax take another 20 seconds because you're gonna need it for the next exercise and the next exercise that we are doing are some plyometric lunges so we're gonna be jumping from lunge to lunge side to side and it's gonna be tough but it's gonna be great you ready okay let's do this and go now an important thing to remember when you're doing this is to keep good lunge form do not make your lunges too wide or too far apart and um, as that might cause you to kind of overextend in the back. Uh, you wanna make sure that you are landing with the weight through your heels of the front foot, okay? I don't want you landing on your toes because that can be uh, damaging. I want you to land with your weight through the heels of the front foot and really squeeze the glutes of that front leg to take off and switch onto the other side when you go to jump into the other lunge. Keep it nice and controlled and try and be as explosive as, explosive as you can, but keep in control and relax and if you're not breathless now and um, then well done because i'm kind of breathless and the next exercise we're going to do are some wide leg pulses i love this exercise and um, we'll have five more seconds of rest and then we're going to get straight into it are you ready and go feet turned out uh, legs nice and wide apart i want you to sit back always sitting back into this squat Sit back and pulse one, two, three, before you squeeze up back to the top. Now I don't want you to just stand up. I want this to be a really intentional glute squeeze as you push your hips through and up in front of you as you stand back up from that squat. We're really working uh, the inner thigh here, working the glutes, using the core as well, keeping stable, weight through the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. You might even get a nice stretch on that inner thigh, but we're really using the adductors to 
balance ourselves and control the movement and relax well done take another 20 20 seconds not dollars because you know we're still getting there in jesus name giving out 20 dollars in the breaks of the exercise okay and we're gonna go back in with the three point squats you ready you ready let's go again from a different angle so many angles here we're gonna go front heel to the side heel to the back wiggling the toes of the foot that's planted in the ground sitting back keeping that chest as nice and lifted as we can feeling that burn in the quads but choosing to control it engaging the core keeping steady staying as low as we can be as low as you can in that planted leg controlling the movement getting that nice burn in the thighs you're doing really well so proud i feel it too i feel it too and relax well done shake it off shake it off i promised i would stop singing shake it off whenever i say that in videos and we're going to come down onto the other leg and do the other side because you got to make both cheeks even as a wise pilates instructor once told me um so yeah onto the other leg and go front side back it's like a cool little dance movement except it's hard um, not that dancing isn't hard but yeah just keep nice and steady don't let it wobble sitting back chest high don't forget to breathe and by that I mean control your breathing be intentional about it fill your lungs with oxygen doing really well don't let that knee come in front of those toes sitting back try not to rush it I know it's tempting but just control that movement even when it starts to shake a little keep nice and low just three more seconds and relax well done well done and now we're gonna come back in with some more uh, plyometric lunges so these are really great for getting some explosive power really working those fast twitch muscle fibers getting that hypertrophy that we want ready and go jumping up as high as you can but making sure that you are controlled in the movement. So if you need to slow this down, I'm, that's fine. I'm, I would rather you be controlled and balanced and landing with your weight through the heels and being explosive and intentional with the contraction of your muscles than you know just rushing through it and being un, unbalanced and all over the place, okay? So I know you get breathless, but we need to control these to make sure that they are powerful, getting high up off the floor, switching like scissors. Your legs are like scissors through the air. Well done, you're doing really well. A few more and relax. Did your legs give way? Um, mine felt a little bit jelly then, it was close, close call. Um, catch your breath, take some deep breaths because we are coming back in with the last uh, exercise, the last round, wide leg pulse. Don't forget you can do this video as many times as you want, as many times as you can, this is just one set. And go sitting back pulse one two three and up one two three and up not being passive about coming up I want you to really intentionally squeeze your glutes and like push your hips back up into the into standing position I'm showing you from the side now I'm really sitting back and keeping my chest up and as you can see my hips are coming forward as I stand up that's because of all that power that I'm getting when I'm squeezing my glutes hard enough to crack a nut or whatever it is that the cool kids say these days so keeping your legs nice and wide feeling that stretch in the adductors and relax well done you done did it you you done did this workout and i'm so proud of you because it wasn't easy and um, don't forget to check out my other exercises exercises videos in this series and i have a load of other full body workouts on my channel so definitely give the channel a stalk join me on instagram and twitter and facebook so i post a lot on there my instagram stories am i allowed to say that you know i would highly recommend them um, I think that's kind of it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.